All right, a couple of seconds here. We'll roll with a shady or not. He lied about living at home with his parents, and she's not sure if it was justified or shady. We'll get into that in just one second. I realized this morning on the way in, I have got a really strange quirk. It's such a weird quirk. And I don't know how long I've been doing it, but I realized this morning that I do it almost daily. So do you guys have ways in your car? Do you use ways? I know. I just use my Google Maps. Just use Google Maps. Okay. It'll, it, it still lets you know where there's accidents, and it, it'll it'll tell you to divert to other routes if there's a major issue. Yeah, so my Waze voice is a little lippy, so I turned her off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are just some intersections around town that have like four or five or six different exit ramps on the same one, so when she's on, she'll rattle off all of them every 30 seconds, and it's just really super annoying. Have you ever tried to have a conversation like, I've been ha- talking to my husband, and she'll be like, take exit 75 south for blue, 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 yes. and, and then I wait till she's done. And I'm like, as I was saying, she goes, take exit south. I'm like, I'll kill yes. you. I, you're virtual. I will find you. Yes. And it happens too often, so I've turned that feature off. But you can keep your alerts on. So when there's really something important going on in front of you, the alerts, she can, she can tell me that, right? And really, the only alert she tells me about is police. Like, police. Uh, one mile ahead of you. And I realized this morning that anytime she comes on and tells me there's police, I say, appreciate you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, every, 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 there. every single time. Appreciate you. I say please and thank you to Alexa. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, I thank Alexa all the time. <laughs> Listen, when the robots uprise, they will remember. They will. Right, I think they you're right. They 100% will. Even a Waze voice just needs to feel appreciated from time to time. <laughs> so. I, don't, I don't want Alexa to feel like she has a rude owner. You know, like yeah. that matters. Right. Of all the people that could have selected me, <laughs> this guy's the nicest guy. There you go. So I think I'll give him more accurate information. I feel that way. <laughs> all right, shady or not time. Is your man being shady? Or is he genuinely real? Not treating you like a lady. And got you all in your feels. So he lied about living with his parents, and she's wondering, okay, is this shady or was it justified? So I've got a bit of a situation here that I need some advice on. Like, seriously, I don't even know what to do right now. I've been dating this guy for six months. We met online, and he's been coming to visit me since it is kind of a long-distance relationship. He lives a couple of hours away. But here's the issue. He kind of lied to me about the fact that he still lives with his parents. He definitely never mentioned it. In fact, anytime his house has come up in conversation, he's always mentioned his quote unquote roommates, <laughs> who I thought were his buddies or something. Nope. Turns out they're actually his parents. <laughs> I only found out because I was in town and dis- uh, decided to surprise him by showing up at his place. When I got there, I could tell right away that it was his parents' house. I mean, you could just kind of tell by the way the house looked on the outside. I knew that it wasn't the home of a few 30-year-old guys. I almost thought I had the wrong place. I didn't even ring the doorbell. I just left and sent him a text to ask him about it. I sent him a text, and he admitted that he lives with his parents. He claims they're both disabled and need financial help. He says that he pays them enough to cover their mortgage and some of the bills. I heard that, by the way. Yeah, this is funny. (laughs) I've been here. But here's the thing. He never told me about it before. He always referred to them as his roommates. And I feel like that is kind of lying. He says he was embarrassed and afraid I wouldn't understand. I mean, it kind of is embarrassing to be a 30-year-old guy who lives with his parents. It's weird, right? I don't want to be a total B, but I don't know if I can help dating him. I mean, this seems weird, right? Um, well, they do got medical things going on, right? Right, which he would have told her out the gate because that makes you look like a very sweet, caring, loving individual. Why a dude wouldn't tell a girl he's dating, oh, yes, by the way, I'm taking care of my parents who are disabled and also need financial help. That's something you, like, literally say out the gate because it makes you look like a saint. Yeah, I got that lie off for about three years. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you really? Yes. When I lived with my grandmother, I was like 23 <laughs> at the time and I was embarrassed. So I told, I, I would say that I was taking care of her. You know, she was sick. 
and I was doing, I was being a good grandson. I was staying there even though I didn't want to. But yeah. but my heart yeah. was pulling me to stay with her. And yeah, that was completely a lie. She was taking care of me. I, I was sick for lying. <laughs> it's not entirely a lie. Did she ever have a cold while you were there? Yes. She was sick. <laughs> See? And you were taking care of her. And I went and got her medicine. Yep. And you were taking care of her. It's not entirely a lie. <laughs> Boom. Uh, yeah, these two have been going out with each other for six months. That should have come up way before now. Mm-hmm. It should have. It's shady, right? It is very shady. He's embarrassed, and it's shady. It is shady. I mean, though I, I feel like as a New Yorker, every guy's got this lie off at least once. It, it definitely is shady, <laughs> and she should be concerned. Across the board, shady. Shady. Hey, <laughs> and it's official. <laughs> <laughs> the Burt Show. Like what you just watched? You can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.